The Gastonia Honey Hunters are filing for bankruptcy. The news comes after the city sued the team, citing delinquency and late payments. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis has been following this story for several months now. She is here with the latest developments. Morgan, does this mean that the team is throwing in the towel? Well, Brian, Annie, they filed for reorganization, which means they plan to retain ownership while settling the debts they currently owe. These bankruptcy filings show they owe more, more than $4 million. And at the time of the filing, they had a $721 negative balance in their checking account. In the meantime, there's still an ongoing lawsuit involving the city of Gastonia to knock the team out of the ballpark. If the play was any indication of success, most would think the Gastonia Honey Hunters were on the right track. The team nearly won the Atlantic League championship this year, but behind the scenes, there were money problems. Employees were not being paid. It took my son over a month when we first started the season to get his first paycheck. Vendors were left high and dry. Um, I know, like I said, this has been, a, a, you know, it's been bumpy, right? Let's keep it real. It's been bumpy, but um, we have a plan. And in a lawsuit filed by Gastonia City leaders against NC Gas House Gang LLC, there were many more allegations of unpaid utility bills and a million dollar default on membership fees to the Atlantic League. That delinquency resulted in the league terminating the Honey Hunters membership. Today, a team spokesperson confirmed the reorganization, saying their lawyers are working to address their legal matters and they intend to continue operations. The statement said in part, we remain committed to providing family-friendly and affordable entertainment in the region. Gastonia officials want them out, filing a lawsuit to establish sole possession of the ballpark facility and, in their words, protect the public investment. A city spokesperson says they're working with their attorneys on their response to the bankruptcy and are in continued talks with the Atlantic League on the 2024 season. So what about the team? The Honey Hunters spokesperson did not specifically say if they intend to field a team while this litigation is ongoing, but the Atlantic League representative tells Queen City News they do plan to have a team in Gastonia next year with no gap in play. The representative did not say whether they have a buyer for the Honey Hunters in case the current owners are called out. If you would like to look at this entire bankruptcy filing, we have it embedded on our website, qcnews.com.